Has anybody ever heard of an animal called a boggit? Well, I've only ever seen one of them. And it was on the hills, on the moors, they live in the dry stone walls, on the Pennine chain of back of Bolton. The moors there, the dry stone walls, you get a lot of rabbits there. Well, me and a lad called Lewis, who comes on this site sometimes, under an alias name. We was on that moor to get some droppers for the young lurch I had. So he comes up across this hole, underneath the dry stone wall. And I said to Lewis, smell it that hole, I've never smelled a smell like that. He said, it's not fox or anything I've ever smelled. So he said, she'll ferret it, Chalky. I said, get it in, get it in. So he puts the ferret in. And you know where the earth on the ferret's tail stands up when it, it knows there's something in there? <clears throat> All the earth on its tail stood up and it never moved and its tail went back down. And I picked it up like that and when I looked, it had no head up. Within a second, it had no head up. I thought, what the fuck was that? <clears throat> so I looked down the hole and all I can see is two bright orange eyes and an horrible snarling. You know, some of you knew it was going to bite proper snarling. And you could see these big teeth, but it looked like a yard in tall. So I said to Lewis, shove your hand in and pull it out with its tail. He said, fuck off. He said, I'll go home, I'll go home and get me patted ale. What he used for the black and white fella, he said, it'll pay us anything, this bastard. So he goes home and I wait. Half an hour later, he's back. <clears throat> Puts it in. We never heard a scream like it. And the cherry come out. Don't forget this cherry face, the black and white fellas. It came out with half its head missing. And that was a boggy. And we went and we're trying to find out about it. And I went in this, like, like a bit of a wood there, and an old fella lived in it. You know, in like a wooden shed. And then he was telling me, he was telling me that years ago, he lived in Canada, and he brought this baby wolverine over. It was about eight weeks old, and he brought it up with his pole cats and that. Now, a wolverine is about 24 inches in height, but it's a member of the ferret family. And we think, well, he said to me that it, li it lined, the wolverine lined the pole cat bitch. He said it had pups and they were all loose on that moor. So if you ever go up there with your dogs, be careful. That's all I can tell you. That's all I can tell you.